Then Marcy's voice goes into his falsetto. And it's just, that's beautiful. As the song just kind of like winds up down. It doesn't actually wind down. It's almost like winding up, right? Because um, Johnny then comes in with this guitar solo. And it sounded so good. It was like six seconds. <laughs> and then it was over. I'm like, are you kidding me? You got to give me more. It's like, no way. Not, and not to sound that good. And then it just stops. I know I'm complaining. Um, again, you know, with masterpieces like, like this one, uh, everything has its place. Everything, uh, otherwise, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be concluded as a masterpiece, right? Um, it had its purpose. Hey everyone, and welcome to another episode of Into the Music. My name is Craig, this guy over here, and I have another reaction video I'm going to do. Uh, this one is going to be a song from the Smiths. I haven't done the Smiths in a very long time, and here's why. Um, I know so much. Like, I really do. Um, I've been like scouring YouTube and I've been clicking on songs I'm like because I'm not really good with song titles. Um, you can go through many reaction videos in the past year with uh, conversations with Chris when he was on the channel. And I confess to that uh, notorious for not really knowing song titles, songs that I love and know. And I'm like, what's the song title? Um, and so I'm clicking. I'm like, oh, maybe I don't know this one. Nope, I know it. Oh, I know this one. I know that one. That one, that one, that one, that one. That one. <laughs> um, so in a way, it like it made me feel good because I have said before how I'm a Smiths fan. And so I think that backs it up. That said, and this is where I'll probably get nailed. Uh, last night, I dreamt that somebody loved me. This is a song that I don't really know too well. I remember listening, but like I think I might have made it all the way through um, a couple of times. But it was that beginning part, I believe. It's that like sort of that kind of piano chords with uh, crowd noise or something like that. And way back when, you know, I didn't have the patience. I don't know. So um, I'm going to give this another shot. Um, I think there's more to it than just that. This might be um, something long overdue. So with no further ado, I'm going to check out Last Night I Dreamt That Somebody Loved Me.
Drumming. Johnny! <laughs> I want a more. To the last note. That's a masterpiece. Like I was saying on the other side, it's a song that um, I think I remember hearing, you know, because I'm not really the best with song titles, but um, I know so much Smiths. I really do. Um, a lot of the Smith songs. And uh, this one I know, but it was one of those that I just, for some reason, it wasn't really in my sort of rotated Smiths kind of thing. You know, I just, you know, now, I don't know, maybe it's a song that, you appreciate more when you get older, you know, um, the vocals, the arrangement, everything, just beautiful. Marcy's voice, ah, it never sounded better. I'm going to stop talking now because I want to say something on the other side. Um, and also dig into the lyrics and a little bit about the song. So see you on the other side. Music has a funny way of just being so forgiven, you know, all these years. You know, this this song could have just given me the middle finger and said, screw you. You didn't like me back then when you should have. <laughs> why, you know, why should I have you like me now? <laughs> that sounds actually ridiculous. But um, that's the great thing about music. It's always there. You know, uh, come on, stop on by. You know, let's forgive and forget. Come on. Let's be friends. Um, man, that that song is brilliant. It's brilliant. It really is. Uh, so in the beginning, right, you have those piano chords, very haunted, you know, dun, and then you have this crowd uh, that just goes on for like, I guess, two minutes or something like that. Um, I don't know if it was taken from like a soccer game, uh, maybe mixed sort of live events and just sort of put together. Really couldn't make it out. And I'm also wondering what the, what the intent is, you know, how it's connected to the song. Uh, it might just be that it's unsettling. It's unsettling. 
you know, uh, they don't seem too happy. So it may not be a soccer game unless the, the home soccer team lost. <laughs> They're really pissed. Um, so I'm not sure. But it definitely gives off a very unsettled, kind of almost disturbed feeling, you know, and maybe that's what Morrissey was going for um, with the content, uh, you know, that he dreamt that somebody loved him finally, you know, which means in real life, that's not happening. Um, and it's interesting too. Uh, I think that Morrissey over the years um, when with the Smiths had been knocked for just constantly being negative and singing about depression and nobody loving him because he has this one line here. Uh, the story is old. I know, but it goes on. Um, so I wonder if he was speaking to that, to that criticism there. Um, and the drumming, the drumming, I think the drummer is Mike Joyce. Uh, and Andy Rock is the bassist, Johnny Marr, of course, uh, the guitarist. But Mike Joyce, oh my God. Um, I've always liked his drumming, but he's like inspired on this song, this track. It's um, fantastic. Um, I couldn't get enough of it. Uh, I think I was whipping it up on the other side. Uh, and the chord changes, I think I mentioned that. Morrissey's voice, just absolutely stunning his best his best oh and then at the i guess at the um at the three minute mark 330 mark something like that uh then marcy's voice goes into his falsetto and just that's beautiful as the song just kind of like winds up down it doesn't actually wind down it's almost like winding up right um because johnny then comes in with this guitar solo it sounded so good. It was like six seconds <laughs> and then it was over. I'm like, are you kidding me? You got to give me more. It's like, no way. Not, and not to sound that good. And then it just stops. I know I'm complaining. Um, again, you know, with masterpieces like, like this one, uh, everything has its place. Everything, uh, otherwise, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be concluded as a masterpiece, right? Um, it had its purpose. Um, and I've said it before, you know, um, it leaves you wanting more. And I think that's a good thing, you know, because you seek it out in other songs and you get it and it just give you just enough and until next song and next song. Um, always wanting more. And that's not a bad thing. And yeah, so let me get into the song through Wiki. Yeah, so last night I dreamt that somebody loved me. It's a song by the English rock band Smiths, <laughs> duh, <laughs> uh, released as a single in December 1987. It reached number 30 in the UK singles chart. It was the last of three UK singles from the band's fourth and final studio album, Strange Ways, Here We Come. The last one. All right. The album version contains a one minute and 55 second introduction consistent of piano playing against a backdrop of crowd noises from the minor strike. Oh, wow. The minor strike of 1984 to 1985. Interesting. The seven inch single release does not include the introduction, while the 12 inch single does. Both Marcy and Johnny Marr, the co writers, have nominated this song as the best Smith song. Yeah, no brainer there. And let me just take a look at this album. As I said, it's the fourth and final studio album. Um, it was released in 1987, several months after the group had disbanded. Wow. All the songs were composed by Johnny Marr, with lyrics written and sung by Morrissey. Rolling Stone said the record stands as one of their best and most varied. And let me just look at the track listing of this album. So side one is a rush and a push in the land is ours. I started something I couldn't finish. Death of a disco dancer. That's good. Girlfriend in a coma. That's really good. Um, that got so much air radio play was saturated uh, back in the day stop me if you think you've heard this one before that's a really that's a great one i like that one a lot last night i dreamt that somebody loved me the song unhappy birthday that's another one i'm gonna do um i think stop me if you think you've heard this one before i think i'm gonna 
react to that one too. Um, their songs. So this album, it's probably the one album that I haven't really dove into like the others, you know, like explored from beginning to end. So I'm going to cherry pick on some of these songs. Cool. From genius.com, the lyric website. Last night I dreamt that somebody loved me. No hope, no harm, just another false alarm. Last night I felt real arms around me. No hope, no harm, just another false alarm. That's interesting. No hope, no harm. Like, oh, well, indifferent. So tell me how long, like resigned, resigned to the fact that you're not going to be loved in real life. So tell me how long before the last one. And tell me how long before the right one. That's clever. That's, that's really good. This, this story is old, I know, but it goes on. This story is old, I know, but it goes on. And on and on, and it goes on. That's crazy. I guess with the two-minute beginning and then the kind of long takeout, it just seemed like there were more lyrics. <laughs> But it's short and sweet to the point. Um, wow. Wow. Okay. So I'm so glad I, I dove into the song. I love it. I love it. Um, you know, I don't question anymore. This is like the, the 16th time on this channel where um, I've gone back and I've rediscovered something that I never really gave a chance way back. You know, we change. You know, my love of music um probably has even increased more i guess um but definitely uh my willingness my openness um you know open up the barriers you know just just yeah i just don't have those 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 rails anymore you know to kind of push to the side um doesn't mean i'm gonna like everything but songs like this that like rightfully deserve i mean if i call myself a smiths fan this this one had to be <laughs> has to be uh at the top of the list you would think right and absolutely man wow again loved it uh put put in comments smiths fans non-smiths fans tell me what you think about the song um give me some perspective you know something a little different than what i just sort of read off and then what i came up with uh what you liked about the song you know mike joyce's drumming was amazing it really was you know or um you know, Andy's bass playing really rocked it. I don't know. Um, but what I do know is that I will see every one of you on the next episode of Into the Music.